Hello, today is the uh, 5th March and I want to give a little update. I'm uh, here with my beautiful Java. Java. Java isn't very talkative. Die Welt, which is a major German newspaper and TV channel and all that, made an article about Wolleda and me, telling me my social medias. And I gained about 5,700 euros from it. So I want to give a little bit update here. First of all, the smaller stuff. So I'm gonna get one or two generators and the plates for a unit. I hope they're still alive. I'm not sure. Also not sure if they're still located there. These guys don't need it anymore, I will just give it to another unit. There are enough troops who need uh, plates and carriers. Then I want to announce something bigger. I uh, want to take less than 4,000 euros to buy a house here in Dunbas. For obvious reasons, I can't say exactly where, but uh, it's in a more safer area in Dunbas. Uh, very central and uh, it has a big garden and it's a relatively big property houses are really cheap here in ukraine just uh, look online it's uh, unbelievable what you can buy a house here for just a few thousand euros of course uh, the house is not in a condition like as if you buy a house in america or germany or something but it works but it's mostly about the property itself, not about the house. Of course, I'm going to live in the house, so I don't have to live in this military target anymore. What I want to do with this house is uh, take dogs from the front line, like Bulleda as example. That would be like the first place I would go. Bulleda, take the dogs and uh, get a volunteer who uh, likes dogs who's gonna take care of all the stray dogs that we will bring to that house. They will live in the garden and in one of the buildings. The house has like two buildings, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an animal shelter. I'm not sure if that's legal to just take a random ass property and turn it into an animal shelter, but honestly, I don't care. Uh, yeah, that's gonna take some money, uh, less than 4,000 for the house, I said. Of course, I have to do some work on the house and minor stuff. And before the next winter, I will have to do some work on the heating. But I will make it as cheap as possible. The electricity is super cheap. It's like nothing. The water, the tap water is like nothing as well. And uh, a uh, trash bin, a big trash bin, like a really big one on four wheels. Uh, I don't know how much I take, like 500 liters. I don't know, maybe more actually. Uh, those cost 30 grivna per uh, empty, emptying it. So that's less than one euro. So all in all, that's like pretty much no running costs. And so that's perfect because I have inconsistent donations. And uh, yeah, that's the next big project. So after this house, and uh, I have to fix my car soon. So that's gonna take a few hundred euros as well. Then two generators and these plates, and I'm not out of money, but uh, I won't have much left over. So please keep the support coming, so I can make an actual impact. I can't take so many dogs, but the volunteer will have every day, all day, time to take care of them and to look for new owners for the dogs. I don't know how well or not well that works, but we will learn on the go.
I will also have to learn a lot about house construction and that kind of stuff on the go. But uh, it's okay, I will learn. I'm young. You are one? Yeah. So yeah, that's the next close-up future things. Uh, I need to get a new passport because my German passport is overdue at the end of the month because it's a German emergency passport which is only good for one year and I need to register this house as my residency somehow so I can uh, leave Ukraine at some point this year and see my family in Germany because otherwise I cannot come back in I think because I'm extremely overstayed yeah I still need to get rid of some of the puppies I'm keeping one of them as uh, I said quite a few times in my Instagram stories and yeah about my car uh, I'm really happy about it. It's very reliable, very robust. But I have to fix a lot of it because uh, it's an old car and it has not been as much abused as I did. There's all the off-roading to Vulida and all this kind of stuff. So a lot of like bushings and this kind of stuff has to be replaced. Uh, the only things that are like faulty that uh, we're not are not expected on just you know your regular old car that you buy uh, the fuel tank which I have to replace and one sensor and then I hope the car is in a really good condition again at the moment I cannot work anymore with it uh, it still runs and everything obviously it still works but uh, if I keep on driving it without fixing it I'm gonna have a big problem, so I need to fix it. Luckily, the roads between this place here and the house that I want to buy are perfect, so I don't have to really worry about that, taking the car there and back. But yeah, I'm waiting for a workshop in Kramatorsk to finish their part list and everything, so they can order it, I can pay them, and then we can get the car fixed but they're taking really long by the way they charge 500 something griefner per hour so that's fifteen euros or so maybe maybe less less I think Anyway, it's not a lot. It's like super cheap. And it's a, a brand company, like it's it's not some independent workshop. And they are pretty professional and good. Mm, yeah. So anyways, I want to thank again uh, all the donors who helped me and everyone who shares my stuff. Please continue to share my stuff. It helps a lot. I need a lot of reach. I hope that the animal rescue stuff is gonna help with that too. I think that this animal rescue stuff, as soon as I can start making footage and start fundraising, and I'm going to make like a proper video series on YouTube, with like working on the house and on the garden and preparing everything. Uh, I hope that I'll be able to pay the house with that, actually. So I'm gonna get like the money that I spent on it back. <coughs> then I want to uh, buy more materials for the army. And of course, this animal rescue stuff, that's just a side project. Like, 
I'm just gonna take the dogs from the front line and I'm gonna like uh, enable it for someone else to take care of them by giving the property. Oh, you have a... Yeah, but I doesn't want to sit around here. So anyways, huge thanks to everyone for making this possible. I, uh, it really hurts me when I have to leave these dogs behind. Uh, just on my last time I was in Bolida, I had to leave a dog that was like walking through the rubble and was like a really small dog. And uh, yeah, it just hurts. But I hope I'll be able to take every stray dog of Bolida. I'm not gonna deal with cats. I cannot have everything and everyone, so. But I love dogs. I have a good connection with them. I know how to work with them. And uh, yeah.